All right, so we officially survived the clown Mutta last night. So it was definitely fun. We stayed in uh, room 113, the room in which they filmed, filmed the movie. Um, just gonna do like a little walk through real fast and go from there. Uh, show you around a little bit. Wait for this car to go by. Came out to the cemetery last night. It was probably around 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. I was out here for about an hour. Uh, this place stays busy, I'll tell you that. Uh, I would say the best time to come actually like investigate here and everything would definitely be during the winter months. Um, not because of the heat, but I would think that would be like more of their off the off season and everything. Uh, this is the Tonopah Cemetery. This is right next door to the Clown Motel. So yeah. It's actually pretty pretty good sized cemetery. Uh, A lot of these, well, there's uh, 14 of them are buried here that died in a in a mine fire. These two brothers were killed by a ore car that uh, was like a runaway ore, ore car, and uh, one of them tried to stop it, and he got ran over, and the other one got his uh, feet amputated, and. He ended up dying because the injuries were so severe. So, yeah, it was the Belmont. These he died in the Belmont fire. AJ. These uh, plaques are pretty hard to read. Another one, Belmont fire. right here are the Belmont Flyer. Frank Burt, Clarence David. Belmont Flyer. But yeah, as you can see, this is the right on the main road that comes through. So when you come investigate the cemetery, it's always best to do it late at night. Big Bill. This was the guy. He 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 risked his life and saved many many men um, that were trapped down in the fire. He kept going in the mine. I think he went down two times to get a whole bunch of men out. And the third time, um, he didn't make it back. But he was, he, he is a hero. And uh, they actually have a, um, a memorial in town of him. He was 28 years old when he died. Saving, uh, saving, died while saving others. It's really pretty here. Uh, if you ever get the chance to come out here, I would, I would highly recommend it. It is a bit of a drive pretty much in the middle of nowhere <clears throat> but if you like to investigate things and check things out like um, you have gold field that neighbors Tonopah and in gold field you have um, 
the old high school there that you can tour. Uh, they also do paranormal tours there. Um, the Goldfield Hotel is currently closed to the the public, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to open it back up to do paranormal tours. The owner recently passed away. Um, there's a the Lyric Theater there in, in Goldfield. It's also supposedly haunted. So yeah, there's there's definitely things to to check out here. Uh, and of course you have the Mizpah, uh, what's said to be one of the most haunted hotels in the United States. Um, we're going to stay there tonight. I'll uh, post videos and everything. And then you have the Goldfield Cemetery, which is massive. So, yeah, I mean, there is, there is stuff to do here. Um, <clears throat> and I definitely want to return, but when I come back, I'm going to definitely come back in the winter time. So, but I'm going to just, just giving you, you guys a little tour now. And I'm going to go into the, the little, the clown museum here shortly. I don't know how, how busy it's going to be in there or anything, but, um, we're going to check it out. Uh, these, there's a lot of, ch uh, children also buried out here, uh, throughout this section here is mostly children. So. Yeah, we're gonna um, stay at the Ms. Paul tonight. Uh, and then you also have right across the street, you have uh, the Tone of Paul Liquor Company. And they will let you, they, if you're a paranormal investigator, um, they'll let you come in and they'll give you a tour and all that and tell you the, the haunting stories of the place and um, and they'll let you hang out in the basement if you want to. That's where a lot of the activity has uh, supposedly taken place. Let's go ahead and go ahead and um, see if it's not busy in there. But the guy, uh, he gets clown people donate clowns here and everything, and uh. I'm pretty sure by next year he'll break the world record by having the, the, the biggest clown collection. Alright. But I never did understand people's uh, people that are terrified of clowns. Um, it's probably because I grew up in a house where my mom, she actually collected dolls and clowns and everything. And it's probably why they never really bothered me. But I definitely have to come in here and check this out. This is where the, <clears throat> the museum is here. Many people are in here. There's a people in here. All right. Yeah, they have a gift. They have a nice gift shop here. They have shirts, paintings, all kinds of stuff for sale in here. The these are the paintings that the owner does. He uh he he likes to paint. Um, This doll here, the big doll, is said to move on its own. People caught it on camera moving. Clowns everywhere. 
Awesome. Okay, you got it. Make sure, make sure it came out because a message came up when I was. All right, that's it. Just want to show you. Take care. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.